Hey YouTube, today we're working on a 2005 BMW 545i. We're going to change the uh, secondary air pump. Uh, it's a missions code that came on, check engine light, and the code was 29FE. So uh, I picked up the part off Rock Auto, it was pretty reasonably priced, and then I had to locate where it was. So have a look under the hood. Not easy to see. But on the passenger side down low, back by the headlight, underneath the ABS module. Is the filter for it. Let's see. Right here, this guy right here on the end of this hose. So this is the intake air filter for it. That goes down into the inner fender. So I've jacked the car up from the cross member at the front. And the jack support. And I've got it up in the air for the front wheels on. I've got the e-brake on. Jack stands under it to support it. And I've removed the right front tire. 17 mil socket. And I've removed the bolts for the fender liner. There was uh, two, four, six, eight eight of them with an eight mil head and I pulled the fender liner back. I've also pulled this down below me. There was also one 10 mil in there. I've unplugged the uh, two connectors for the horns just to get them out of the way. And up, looking up from underneath, I unplugged this connector. This one here off the bottom of it, you just squeeze the two tabs like that and pull it off. And then up from the bottom, there's three 10 mil nuts in this mounting bracket here. You can get them up from the bottom with a six inch extension and a 10 mil socket. Once you got them out of the way, you got a couple of hoses to remove. The top one. is pretty easy, or I had no trouble with the top one. Let's see if I get a better picture there. There it is there. You just squeeze in two places where the ribbing is. Give it a little squeeze and wiggle and it came out fairly easy. Now the other side, I didn't have so much luck. I tried to get it loose, it wouldn't come loose. Here it is here. It was plugged onto this uh, fitting right here. This fitting was jammed because the O-ring was dry. I could not, for the life of me, get it to release. So I took a pair of side cutters and I cut the clamp off. And then I was able to just wiggle the hose out of the way and leave that attached. Once I got it out of the vehicle, I was able to get it off, swapped it over to the new pump, and then I'm just going to put this hose clamp here in place of the metal hose clamp that I cut off. Uh, I needed a pair of side cutters, slip joint pliers, I used a flat screwdriver. These little feet, there they are there, they just plug into the bottom of the pump. I pulled a couple of them out while they were in the car just to give me a little more wiggle room. Now I've got three new ones that are going to go on the new pump. Same with the electrical connector. This one just slides in to this orientation. I'll do the same by plugging this one in on the new pump. I'll feed it through from the inner fender side down. I'll connect the top hose and then I'll connect the uh, output hose, which is the one we cut the clamp off of. Put the hose clamp on and snug it up. The scanner I got off of uh, Amazon, I think it was about 80 bucks delivered. It's a C110 BMW scanner, worked perfect. I've also used this on other BMWs for clearing ABS lights and uh, airbag lights. Worked good. So 17 mil socket, 10 mil socket, 8 mil socket, quarter drive. And that's basically it. I'm going to tuck the new one back in there, hook up the... Uh, Hook up the hoses, put the inner fender back in, the support underneath, and then I'll clear the codes of the scanner and uh, hopefully that'll be the end of the check engine light. Thanks for watching. 